Hi everybody, it's July 3rd, 2019. This is part two, the video that I posted last night. I'm going to play just a few minutes um, of Dave Hodges interviewing a woman, can't remember her name, she obviously is a contributor to the Common Sense show. Information that you do need to hear. Unfortunately, some of it hard to confirm. Um, but when looking at some evidence, well, you put one piece together with another piece. Circumstantial, but very hard to get to the truth these days because there is a tremendous amount of disinformation, misinformation, lies uh, coming at us in every direction. You know, discerning what is true and what is not. Wow, it's exhausting. The truth really is just exhausting. Those who have to seek it, you have to just keep digging and digging. That's why people like the lies. They never want to change. They're lazy. Uh, just accepting the lies means that they don't have to do a friggin' thing. The truth, wow, it demands so much, so much of us. But before I do play a few minutes of this interview, I just want you to see this, which was sent to me by a subscriber. I want to thank that subscriber. I said in my video last night, the AOC, the drama down on the border, I said, there's nothing in this woman that indicates trustworthy because I already know how many times this woman has lied. She's a great actress for the leftists. She's repulsive to those who understand what is really going on. You know, but unfortunately, facts and evidence have become obsolete. My opinion. My opinion. That's all I need. And when, when you say something that contradicts their opinion or counters their opinion. Emotions fly. Yes. Opinions, emotions carry the day. And, well, when your society gets to that point, nothing good can come from it. So, AOC crying, oh my God, this is child abuse. Look at what's happening to these children and women are drinking out of toilets and the children are caged. And also want to point out, during the Obama years, we heard the red team saying the same thing about what was happening on the border during the Obama years. Now, it's the blue team saying the same thing against the red team. Please, please understand. We have a memory for a reason. I know that a lot of us are losing it, but don't, we, we're listening to the same crap over and over and over again. And it's just coming from a different team now. But what did Paul Joseph Watson post here? Yes, these are the fabulous Congress persons representing the American people. You know all those concentration camps on the border AOC has been telling us about? Well, she's actually found one. Just look at the raw emotion, the pain, the anguish. Oh, the humanity! I'll never forget this because it was the moment I saw with my own eyes that the America I love was becoming a nation that steals refugee children from their parents and cages them! I feel her emotions in every single picture, especially the last one. It's pure anger, and how can one not feel anger after seeing what she saw? Really? So what did she see? Distraught children separated from their parents. Mexican miners left to suffer alone in metal cages. Crying kids interned in barbaric concentration camps. Turns out, it was an empty parking lot. 
Oh, the humanity! It's pure anger, and how can one not feel anger after seeing what she saw? I mean, sometimes I get a bit peeved if I see a car parked slightly over the line when there's plenty of room. But pure anger? Not really. Why so serious? I mean, we know AOC is big on the environment. Maybe she was mad at the lack of trees. I saw with my own eyes that the America I love was becoming a nation that steals refugee children from their parents and caged them. Yeah, you saw with your own eyes a few bored cops and a few dozen hysterical sanctimonious idiots pretending to cry over nothing for a crass photo op. That's what you saw. Oh, the humanity. I'm just glad that Uncle Joe was there to comfort her. I'm just glad that she was able to visit a planned parent hood abortion mill afterwards to cheer herself up. Oh, the humanity. I'm just glad that this photographer and this photographer and this photographer all captured her authentic, in-the-moment, grief-ridden reaction to an empty parking lot in photos that were definitely not staged. This definitely wasn't a photo op attended by over a dozen virtue signaling celebrities and it's definitely not a little odd to show up to a protest in the middle of a desert dressed in a pristine white outfit wearing bright red lipstick and a luxury watch because this definitely wasn't staged. Oh my gosh, I am so upset. I'm just like, oh I didn't even know there was gonna be a camera crew here today. You need to let those children go. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. I'm gonna Faith, let those children go! <laughs> Did you get that? Did you guys get a picture of that? Guys, please. All right, you can click on the link uh, to watch the last minute, but look. <laughs> yeah, and those celebrities, the virtues, signaling celebrities. Well, if you listen to what they have to say, Dave Hodges and the woman that he's interviewing. You'll hear about one celebrity. We have so much evil taking place now. Covered up. Covered up. The evil covered up. Oh, I'm fabulous. Oh, I care about the people. Oh, I care about children. Oh, I care about the environment. Oh, you're going to die in 12 years. Oh, my God. Those children. It's child abuse. It's child abuse. <gasps> America that I love. Do you see how sick and twisted our nation has become? Batshit crazy people in positions of power. Oh, and I'll show you one of them coming up, but let's get into it. Plan is here. So I thought I'd get educated on what is going on in Mexico, and there is so much disinformation. I am looking probably at 20 or 30 articles. I'm translate. I'm actually going into Mexican websites and translating as much as I can. I'm translating videos. Um, there is no information. Um, in, in, in fact, it's disinformation because there are conflicting reports. We'll get into the conflictions, but um, that's what I'm not seeing. Disinformation, betrayal, uh, and bait and switch. That's really what I'm seeing. Bait and switch, I do see a lot of that myself. Mm -hmm. I do see the betrayal, and I do see a lot of deceit on both sides of the border. And it's interesting you'd mention going into these foreign websites. Mm -hmm. I frequently do the same thing in Central South America, Africa, and Europe, and I find that you can get information there that this mainstream media in America does not touch. Have you found the same thing? 100%. In fact, I had been going, and I still recommend borderlandbeat.com if anyone mm -hmm wants to go there but that's kind of like first grade forgive me but it is you you know they and they're very protective of their government they're not really upfront about what we're talking about here so i thought you know what i need to know what's going on behind the scenes yeah they're not um i'm i'm really getting educated on the structure of mexico that's what i'm going to be working on going forward uh the who's who down there uh, the obama types coming forward who the u.n is backing what um you know obrador the president is uh you know how people are viewing him mm -hmm. uh, there's so much confusion on numbers i can't even tell you, you i know. think that's by design I'm beginning to form the opinion that they're throwing so much useless material at us that they're hoping that in the noise they can hide what they're really doing. Useless material? Right here. That's a good word for it. There's a lot of hiding going on and um, 
one of the things we can say, and I think that one of the a lady, one of the reporters from Epoch, Epoch Times or Epic Times, went down to um, <clears throat> the southern border, you know, which borders on Guatemala. Um, it might be good for everybody just to kind of pull up on Bing Maps or wherever you want to go and look at that border and how it's situated. She went down there and she said there's no activity at all. And that's a reporter from one of the top alternative news sites. Now, what, what, what do they mean by uh, no activity? <laughs> okay, I looked at videos. She was down there hanging out, obviously. What that means is I have seen videos where people are getting on the rafts. You know, the migrants are getting on the rafts from Guatemala and Honduras. And Haitians are coming across, um, uh, Africans, etc. They're watching them get on the on the. Um, you know, on the rafts, they're they're standing there as they're loading, being loaded on the rafts, and no one is doing anything. They're observing. Yes, yeah. they're observing. What do you mean they're observing? Oh, border patrol. Uh, those military troops that were sent down. Here, a video just posted. Mexicans climbing over that wall, coming into the United States illegally. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Arms crossed, border patrol. Hands in pocket, military. Hey, don't you want to say something to them? Those guys crossing the... Don't you want to just say, hey, you know, we put that wall up for a reason, you know, to prevent you from climbing over it, guys. Come on, don't make us look silly. No activity whatsoever. Well, yep, no activity. El Paso. What is this? AP posted a video. Here, Mexico sends more migrants to detention centers. Hmm. So, I guess they're living up to their agreement that great, yay, Trump got the Mexican president to send troops to arrest those migrants to send them to detention centers in Mexico. Yay! Trump is making America great again. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what that comes you know, yeah, Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say that mm -hmm. what I'm getting from some of these websites, and I just paste the words into Google Translator to find out yeah. what you're saying. And mm -hmm. what I'm being able to ascertain to some degree is, is that the, first of all, the Mexican troops, the National Guard, as they're calling them now, is nowhere to be found. Right. But when they are there to be found, they're like they're at a baseball game just spectating. They do nothing. Yeah, where's the popcorn and beer? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's listen to, I'll pause you until I get to the right spot. Okay. Well, that wasn't the agreement. The agreement was to stop the migrants to coming from coming in, period, arrest and deport. That's what we were told up here on the north side. It's not happening. Well, it should have been 100,000 Mexican troops on the southern border. And he, then Trump should have also said, and we're going to blockade your coastlines, and we're going to interdict shipping traffic, and we're going to search the cargo. Yeah. Hey. Isn't the protection of one's border a national security issue? National security. We hear it all the time. My God, our troops are all over the world to protect our security. Yay, I support my troops. They're protecting us here. They protect our freedom. They protect our security. As our security and our freedom has been stripped away from us, military in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, hey, national security, we've got to protect our interests. You know, but the border, somehow we can't protect. Somehow we cannot, we cannot secure our border, but we're all over the world. Doesn't that beg questions? Americans, please, doesn't it beg questions. We do 
insane things and, well, national security. But somehow, we can't protect our own border. And we've got all of these illegals and more crossing the border, yeah, during the Trump years than Obama years. But people just want to listen to what their leaders are telling them. They don't want to dig into anything to find out they're being lied to, just like the Democrats were lied to during the Obama years. Uh, that red team, they were lied to during the Bush years. Uh, the, the blue team lied to during the Clinton years. And the border crisis been going on forever, decades, decades. And we can't, the great U.S. of A. can't protect their own border. And they come out, come up with all the bullshit that Americans, I guess, just love to hear and love to fight one another about. Okay. All of what Dave Hodges just said there, uh, Trump could have done, but he didn't. Yeah. And that should have happened as well, too. Trump made, this man wrote a book called The Art of the Deal, and he has a reputation for making good deals. Now, this has to go down as one of the worst presidential deals in history. Well, the guy leading the, the agreement down there is this Ebrard guy working with the U.N. That's really who made the deal. I don't believe... And this is United States driven. This migration into not just our country, European countries, it's all driven under the United Nations. So let me, here, I posted this back in November. Proof United Nations driving migration in Western countries, Rothschild, Rockefeller, funds it, and abandoned liars. You know, I, go, I, I see the titles of some of my videos and I think, I don't understand it. How could you understand abandoned liars? What the hell am I talking about? Well, I guess you have to watch the video to understand it. But global compact for safe, orderly, and regular migration. And yeah, in November or December, it was, it got adopted. States adopt United Nations Global Compact for safe, orderly, and regular migration. But don't you understand, Carol? Trump didn't agree to this. The United States is not a signatory. Trump got us out of the United Nations. Your hatred for Trump blinds you to the truth. Look, the United Nations is taking over the United States. The United States, the United Nations, they're one and the same. It doesn't matter what Trump says. It matters what is happening. And yeah, it's like, how do you, I don't know. I just don't know. Here, Global Compact expresses our collective commitment to improving cooperation on international migration. It is crucial that the challenges and opportunities of international migration unite us. Global Compact establishes a United Nations mechanism allowing governments and companies to contribute technical, financial, and human resources for implementing it, the implementation. Well, in the video that I posted last night, uh, migrants from Africa coming into Panama, uh, the agreement between Costa Rica and and Panama, I believe, or is it Costa Rica and Ecuador? All of these governments are working together to move safely these migrants into other countries, and then they're moved through Mexico into the United States safely. That's why they have medical assistance along the route, water, they're being fed, and it's all financed. There's an awful lot of organizations and NGOs and 
those nonprofits working together, cooperating to move these migrants safely into the United States, but safely into Germany, the UK, into France, Spain. Okay. Um, migration should be well managed and safe and that national policies are far more likely to succeed if coupled with cooperation. I'm not going to read much. You know, you can read it on your own. Click on the link. Uh, you can watch my videos that I posted. Where are they here? Uh, Border Patrol agent caravan contrived and evidence of U.S., United Nations, NGOs, Red Cross, etc. involved. November 27, 2018. Yep, Trump is lying to you. Um, uh, so, don't know what to say anymore. Believe it, um, or or had anything to do with it because this guy he got in a big fight, like I said, with the lady who is uh, in charge of the she's the secretary of the interior. His own compatriots are upset with him because he's kind of nuzzling his way in, and this is what I think. I believe he's a future Obama. I believe he may run. I believe he will be president at some point, personally. You know, there's a, another parallel that I want to bring out here that I think could possibly fit. I interviewed Kathy Rubio a few days ago, and she used to work in the prison system in Honduras where a revolution is brewing, and I'm sure you've seen some of my work on this. And, and Kathy said they're doing what they did in Cuba when they opened up their prisons and mental institutions and sent those people to Miami by order of Castro. And I think it was back in the 70s, like the Mariana boat lift and so forth. Well, now we've got a situation in Honduras where they're doing the same thing. They're opening up the prisons and releasing people to become part of opposing forces of a revolution in Honduras designed to destabilize the entire region. So you'll produce millions of immigrants coming north. Now let's go back into Mexico. You've got what appears to be destabilization in the prison system with what's going on. Yeah. Do you think there's any plans? Have you seen anything that they indicate that they're going to release prisoners to cross our border? Well, what happened this week, the reason I got into this, as I call it, the, down the rabbit hole, it was one article this week that uh, in southeast, it was reported that southeast Mexico, uh, 132 migrants were arrested. They were found being held up in a motel. Well, it didn't say they were, okay, it didn't, I forgive me, it didn't say they were arrested. They were found out. They, they were, were then sent, sent quote, to a detention center, okay? So, so what I'm seeing is that the women, the men, men are being put, if, if they're, they're being holed up in what you and I would call prisons, prisons. okay? Um, and, and, and this is where what Kathy is saying, there'd be, in my opinion, they're being trained. Where is he going to get the 130,000 to 140,000? Another big headline is Ebrard made a statement, and it went through two or three news, you know, outlets. Where is the UN and the national international community when we need them? We can't afford all these people, but they can afford 130 to 140,000 new troops. Troops. Okay, the detention centers are um, here. Now, of course, AP, mainstream media, this is the PSYOP. Oh, young women who are being put on a bus, sent to a detention center in Mexico, young women with children, they won't show you all of the young men being sent to detention centers. And this entire AP video, I can't believe it, no subtitles. The entire thing is in uh, Spanish, Mexican. Uh, you can't understand it. Okay. Well, they are being sent. So, hey, Trump, that fabulous agreement with the president of Mexico, they are being arrested in Mexico, Carol, and they are being sent to detention centers. Okay, well, we also have Mexico. Um, offering 40,000 jobs, factory jobs to migrants? Really? Mexico? 
their economy is that good and they can offer 40,000 factory jobs to these illegal immigrants that are crossing over into Mexico from Guatemala and Honduras and uh, El Salvador and well Middle Eastern countries and Africa really the manufacturing is doing so well in Mexico we have a global economic slowdown 40,000 they're not factory jobs if this is true there'll be 40,000 sent to training camps what they are calling detention centers training what are they training training soldiers troops or are they training these migrants in detention centers then they release them to cross over into the United States then ICE flies them all over our country setting them up in all states then they're in your community and suddenly they get the orders go create chaos in those communities it's look we've got terrorist training cells here in the United States we will be facing something that we have never faced before but we are being set up we are extremely vulnerable because of the disinformation and misinformation and the lies and all of the Americans who continue to accept the lie continue to choose willful ignorance and all of the Americans who just don't care about anything well all of those Americans are part of the problem and they set all of us up for the violence that may very well be coming to all of us so yeah troops on the border and look 15,000 140,000 I read 6,000 you heard Dave Hodges and this woman talk about how these numbers are very confusing what we do know is that the border is not secure Trump is lying it's easy to secure it they're not securing it for a reason I also want you to listen to this now talk about those celebrities those and AOC is an actress she's just a celebrity she's not I mean anybody who could believe that young <laughs> she's like a young Pelosi she's taken on the young batshit crazy all the village where these people were, were coming from as I got into the news what, what's really going on down there is that the eco-friendly globalists have these are there are 2,500 um, indigenous people from the one of the rainforest down, down there that the globalists have gone in. Harrison Ford is behind this. The Ford family is behind this. And what they do is they go in. These people are illiterate. Obviously, they don't even speak their own language, let alone written. They make them sign documents that they can't even translate. They're signing off their land and resources, and then they are thrown off their land. They have been in what you and I would call a refugee camp south of Guatemala border. And this is some of the people, this group would be one part of the group that's coming north, this beta group. They're, they're really, you know, they're really fussing over because, and I understand what I was upset about is Harrison Ford, the actor, is the, on the, he's a chair. Is a chair position, and these these groups are uh, they pose themselves as eco-friendly or you know con conservative that they're going to go in and help the land. What they're really what they they're doing is they're involved with corporations to go in and rape the land. They're the ones who. Okay, <laughs> now what does that remind you of? If you know the history of our country, if you know how we the great USA got started with our 
early government officials going to the indigenous people, the native Americans, and what were they doing? Hey, let's make a deal and we'll put it in writing. Well, we don't understand the language, that written language. Oh, we'll tell you what that deal is. We'll tell you. We'll interpret this contract and sign with an X. And then their land was stolen and they killed or moved into reservations. It continues to this day. If you don't resolve those issues that you have in the past, you repeat them over and over and over again. Well, now we're seeing <laughs> the consequences of never resolving one's past. And that's true for individuals as well as a collective people. So, corporations, Harrison Ford, celebrities, celebrities, lying, betraying, the evil in these people is so great. Oof, boy. Well, all right. Um, let's get on to President Trump. What he has to say about, oh, that father and his child crossing the Rio Grande River, drowning. Was it a, was it a photoshopped picture? It may very well be. Any parent that has an infant in their arm and they're crossing the Rio Grande with that infant, that's an irresponsible parent. Okay, well, let's listen to what he has to say in the very beginning about the cartel. Slave them. If you look at uh, what's happening. The audio on YouTube now is real. It just. Every video has different volumes. But the, the, the cartels, cartels and the coyotes, coyotes they're, getting they're getting rich because, because the Democrats refuse to change the loopholes. Oh, it's they're now loopholes. It was build that wall, build that wall, build that. Now it's the loopholes. <sighs> All right. I don't know what to say. It, it, you know, look. You're, we're, we're all being played. Trump is just, yeah, the red tide, the red team, the blue team. It just goes on forever. They, they refuse to change, to change the, the asylum. asylum. In, In one, one hour, hour, we could have it done. done. They, they want to have open, open borders, borders, and open borders, borders mean crime. And, and open borders mean people drowning in the rivers. rivers. And it's, and it's a, a very, very dangerous, dangerous thing. thing. Well, that's, well, that's like, like I've been saying. saying. If, if they, they fix the laws, laws you wouldn't have that. that. People if they fix the laws, you wouldn't have... We have plenty of laws on the books. It's your job to execute the laws. Why are you not executing the laws, sir? To protect our border. This is a national security issue, and it sure does threaten Americans. Why are you not doing your job? Ah, because my role is to blame the Democrats, and the Democrats' role is to blame the Republicans. And we're just going to keep at it, because Americans, well, they seem to enjoy the drama that goes on forever, and never does a problem get resolved. They just like the entertainment. Well, what did he say about those cartels? And he's been talking about the cartels coming across the border. Cartels kicking our butts in New Mexico as state left without checkpoints. Our government has exposed his county in uh, New Mexico. Uh, this is this was an interview. The chairman of the Otero County, New Mexico, a county commissioner. Okay, what they are saying is checkpoints have been closed. What? Our government has exposed the county and, by extension, the rest of the nation to unprecedented criminal activity from the Mexican cartels. The cartel is winning and winning big. We get so tied up and focused on the asylum seekers or the illegal immigrant aspect of what's going on 
at our southern border, but the reality of it, reality of it is that it's nothing but a mere smoke screen for the cartel. They're using these large groups of migrants as nothing more than a smoke screen to smuggle their drugs across the southern border. Meanwhile, as soon as those agents are exhausted, those critical spots, they're sending boatloads of drugs across the border in unsecured areas. The shutting down of the checkpoints on the major drug smuggling corridors is a recipe for disaster. Now they have a green light to shut all the drugs through our counties, through our rural areas, with no security in place. Two highways originating from the two main border towns where the illegal immigrants are coming in and the cartels are operating, U.S. Highway 70, U.S. Highway 54. For years, there has been a checkpoint on each highway, but it's been closed down when? During the Trump years. The cartels are taking advantage of the unprecedented open borders because nothing is stopping them. Ah, but listen to the horseshit. It's the loopholes. It's the Democrats. We could solve this problem in an hour. What about the building of the wall, Trump? Now it's the loopholes. Six checkpoints have been closed down. Six checkpoints in the El Paso Border Patrol sector. One in El Paso County, Texas. Two in Otira County, New Mexico. Three in Donna Anna County, New Mexico, border protection confirmed. All six remain shut down. And if they're not shut down, you've got, well, there, it's not a checkpoint. Uh, what you have is U.S. Border Patrol doing nothing. Um, yeah, as areas like Albuquerque and Santa Fe liberal areas in New Mexico, welcoming in all the illegal immigrants. They don't have to deal with the problems that the conservative areas closer to the border, the rural counties, what they are dealing with. I've never seen all these checkpoints closed in my life. I've been in Lincoln and Ontario uh, counties for 30 years. That's coming from Lincoln County Sheriff Robert Shepard. Never seen these checkpoints closed. Now they're closed. Ah, but believe Trump, okay? Because he's making America great again. He got the United Nations out of the United States. You want to believe the horseshit that you're told? Fine. Fine. But our border is more open during the Trump years than it was during the Obama years. So something is very wrong with Trump who lies to you con continuously. All links are below.